Okay guys, what we're going to look at today, um, just a summary of categorical data. So you should have already learned a, a little bit about categorical data. So now we're just going to kind of summarize that and we're going to look at an example of what we'll do with categorical data. So first of all, one thing that we need to make sure we can distinguish is what is categorical data. And basically, categorical data, which is sometimes referred to as nominal data, it gives you a category. Um, that you would answer then with words or names. So for example, in a survey, someone might be asked uh, some questions like, what is their favorite color? What is their political affiliation? What is their gender? What is their zip code? Things like that. And one big thing that we have to make sure that we can do is differentiate between categorical and quantitative data. Now, quantitative data, the biggest difference is it contains measured numerical units. So for example, you might see um, quantitative data where people are asked their salary, their grade on an exam, their height, things like that. Values that can actually be measured for each individual person, not just lumped into a category with a group of people. Now what can we do with categorical data? Well there's several things we can do. Some of the most common is we use categorical data to give us pictures of what our group looks like. So one way we can do this is using a bar graph. And a bar graph will show you how variables relate to each other. So we can see the height of the bar. We can see how each category relates to one another. Then we have a relative frequency table. And this one, this will tell how categories relate to the whole. So we can see how each category compares to the sample as a whole. And then finally, we have a pie chart, which also shows how categories relate to the whole. Now we're going to do a little example. Um, I've got some quantitative data here. And if you just take a minute to look through this table, you'll see that it gives you uh, movie ratings and it also gives you movie genres. So it says there were 348 total films from 2010, and they've all been classified into both a genre and a rating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna answer a few questions about these. Now the first question, what percentage of these films were rated R? One big thing that you have to worry about when you are looking at a table like this, you have to make sure that you know what group of data you're actually looking at. Are we looking at all of the data together or are we looking at just one category? So what the question asks is what percent of movies were rated R? Now in this case that means we're looking at what percent of the total movies were rated R. So what we're going to do here is we are going to come up with this percentage and we're going to take all of the R-rated movies, which if you look at the bottom of the R um, column, we have 170 total R-rated movies. And, of, and these came out of a total group of 348 movies. So then we're just going to turn that into a percentage. So we've got 0.488, which is approximately 48.8%. So we could say in this case, 48.8% of all the movies in 2010 were rated R. Now the next question, what percentage of these films were R-rated comedies? Okay, so again, we're still looking at the total amount of movies. We're looking at all 348 movies. And we want to know what percentage of these movies were R-rated comedies. So here we have to look at the cross-section where comedy and R meet. So we want to find the total number of R-rated comedies. And if you look on your table there, you'll see we have 41. So 41 out of the total 348 gives us approximately 0.117, which is about 11.7%. So 11.7% of the movies in, 2012, in 2010 were R-rated comedies. Okay, the next question, 
what percentage of R-rated films were comedies. Now, this one is a little bit different because this one changes uh, which group of movies we're actually looking at. We're no longer looking at the total group of movies in 2010. We're just looking now at which percentage of R-rated films. So when we look on here and we look at the R column, it shows all the films that were, that were rated R, and you see that we have 170 total R-rated films. Now we want to know, of those R-rated films, what percentage were comedies. So we still have 41 R-rated comedies. So that gives us 41 out of the total R-rated movies, which was 170. And that gives us 0.241, or approximately 24.1%. So 24.1% of the R-rated films were comedies. And finally, what percentage of comedies were rated R? So again, we're looking um, at a different group. We're no longer looking at the total R-rated movies. Now we're looking at the total comedies. So if you look across the row of comedy, we have 90 total comedies. And of those comedies, 41 were rated R. So now we have 41 out of 90, which gives us 0.4. 55 or approximately 45.5%. So 45.5% of all the comedies were rated R. So just a simple little example to show you, give you an idea of what we can do with categorical data.